Hey Choppers, Widget Ridge is coming to Kickstarter and we're going to show you how to play. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can catch all of our videos. Leave us a comment below, let us know how we're doing and what you like about the game, what you don't. Let's hit it, bub. Widget Ridge is a steampunk themed deck builder. You play earthers that have gone traveling through time and space and crash landed on the side of a volcano on a different world and proceeded to build up your city, mining and digging into the side of the volcano to get minerals to make different uh, equipment that we'll show you during the game and build different devices. So we're going to show you exactly how to play Widget Ridge. First off, there's the community deck that's the marketplace is going to be placed in the middle of the table and we're going to turn out six cards here in a little bit. This deck is filled with accessories, devices, and augments that you'll use to build up your deck. Everybody starts with a 10 card starting hand and your starting deck, and you can see that the starter cards are rimmed in gold, and they have different numbers on the bottom from 1 to 10, signifying that it is, it is your starting deck. And these are di built differently than the cards in the marketplace. Now you'll see that you have widgets and gadgets in your starting deck. And your starting deck is just a plain deck. There will be other cards that you could actually add or switch out from your deck. As long as you have the numbers 1 through 10 in the bottom corner, you're good. So you start out with a prime widget. You start out with some basic widgets and also some gadgets. And what they do is they will give you either gold or or spark. Gold is what you use to buy cards from the marketplace to add to your discard pile, just like a normal deck builder. But spark is what is technically magic in this world, and the rulebook says if magic exists, that's what magic would be, but since it doesn't exist, they call it spark. And you'll have a little tracker card that as you earn spark, you'll keep track of it on your card because the purpose and goal of the game is to end with 100 spark. As soon as you reach 100 spark, you win the game. Now I've gone ahead and shuffled up my deck off camera between scenes. You don't know where the cuts are, but um, we're gonna go ahead and place it over here. And the game is made for two players, but with more uh, decks and more cards, you can actually support more than two players. But the base game is made for two players. So the first player is gonna draw three cards and the second player will draw five cards. And so let's go ahead and turn out this, this marketplace here of six cards, which is how the game starts out. Boom and boom. All right. And you will be able to buy the different cards that are in the deck. There's augments, devices, and accessories. So let's go ahead and explain those cards. Now, augments, as you can see right here, there it says augments. Augments and accessories have a playability designated by the play symbol there. Whenever you play it from your hand out onto the table, it'll do a certain ability. Like you can see here, it says, you may pay for spark. If you do, destroy your card in a workshop. Now, a workshop is a separate area in your playing field off to the side where you can actually keep cards and over to the next turn. Because at the end of your turn, you're going to discard all the cards in your hand. But if you put a card in your workshop after playing it, it'll stay and carry over. Because that's one of the differences in this game is that you'll be able to build constructs in your workshop later on by connecting one augment one device and one accessory together in a certain way. So augments and accessories have a playability like this one here for the accessory on wheels. It says play, you gain two gold and three spark, which will adjust your spark right away. And you'll have that gold available to buy from the marketplace during the turn. Now devices, devices have a special symbol. This is a connect symbol. And like it says, draw a card, then discard a card. So whenever you connect these, you will be able to do that ability whenever you connect to it. You can see the symbols on the side line up. As long as one of the symbols lines up on the side of a card, you'll be able to connect it. And if you happen to connect one augment, one device, and one accessory, you can see the accessory only has two symbols there that uh, connect up to it. In your workshop, you'll be able to do this bottom ability all the way where it says full construct at the very end of your turn. It'll take effect. And they all have different things on them that, that play out during the turn. You can see here uh, for wood burning, it says you may discard a card. 
And then if you connected it all the way through, it said, if you do, you may draw two cards and discard a card, then gain spark equal to the discarded card's costs, or melt a card in the marketplace and then gain spark equal to its printed cost because the costs are up here in the corner. Now this is this is what makes it different than most uh, than most deck builders are more interested because you can make a lot of different things in your workshop. You see, this would be a wood burning Velocitron on wheels, and at any time you have these in your your uh, workshop over here, you can switch them out for whatever you have, but you can always only have one augment, one device, and one accessory in your workshop. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out. I've already drawn my card of three, or my hand of three cards. The opponent has their five cards over there with their deck off to the side here. So let's go through a sample turn and show you how it plays. So I've got my, my hand here. I'm going to play all these cards from my starting hand. So I'm going to have two, three, uh, so that's five, six spark. So I'd adjust my uh, card, say six spark, and I've only got one gold. So I play these out in front of me because you have to play your whole hand. And see, there's nothing up here on the board for one gold. So I just got the six spark for this turn. So I would go ahead and uh, I would discard these over here, and I would draw back up. There's nothing else I can do during my turn, so I would draw back up two five cards for my turn, at the end of the turn. Then. Now my opponent on the other hand, at the beginning of their turn, they actually have a couple of things to do. They've got the five cards. So let's go ahead, say they're gonna play the uh, the Welding Broly and the Tesla Spanner there. They've got three sparks, so they'll adjust their card there. And then they have one, two, three, four. Four gold generated for their turn. So they can pick up a couple things from the, uh, from the market, I think. They're going to go ahead and pick up this card solar powered here for four. And when they play it on a later turn, they'll gain three gold and three spark for it. So it goes into their discards. The marketplace gets refreshed. And then their hand is discarded. Go ahead and pick up my hand and see what we have. One, two, three, four, five. Looks like it's a buy round for me. So I've got five cards or five gold generated there. So go ahead and play all those out. I'm going to go ahead and pick up on wheels here for three, because I can see I can play it later and gain two spark or two gold and three spark. And we refresh the market. And then I'm going to buy this coal-powered one over here for two. It's, a, it's an augment here. When I play it, so I may melt a starting card from your hand. If I do, I gain two gold. When you melt anything, it gets removed from the game. If something says it's destroyed, it basically just goes into a discard pile, but melting removes it from the game. So that's my five gold spent there. Refresh the market, and my cards would go into my discard, and I would draw up five, but since I only have two, I have draw those, shuffle my discards, and the, draw the remaining three cards that I need. Widget Ridge is a a really nice, refreshing take on deck builders. The connect ability with the cards adds adds a little adds a little oomph to it that you don't get from a normal deck builder. Um, and the the workshop ability, being able to switch out cards and having cards stay in play for another turn, and then connecting them and building your full construct at the end of the turn is is a really nice take. Uh, on the, the deck building genre. So we hope you check it out. It'll be on Kickstarter. We hope you enjoyed our how to play of Widget Ridge. I'm Logan for Logan Chops Reviews. We'll see you next time. Happy gaming.